Tezzy Dana. <laughs> yeah. I'm Deyasha. I am Sean. All right, so boom. First off, don't make fun of my fucking hair. Anyway, last episode, a bunch of shit went down. Those guys came to Sebus and they're trying to extort him somehow. Right, right, uh, right. We got a bit of an insight into the chief knight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was training. What was that guy's name? Climb. He was climb. Climb. <laughs> Sebus, Sebus, I think, is on his way to go find him. Yeah, yeah. He had left to go find that guy. I think he's going to smoke him. I hope so, man, because I need to see somebody get smoked. I feel like my bloodlust is really high right now. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this show. I, like, I enjoy it a lot. And I'm thankful for Sean for being here with me because, like I said, it'd be, it'd be really difficult to do this by myself. But anyway. You're welcome. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the hell's bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Check out our Patreon and our social media. Join the Discord for further discussion. Hey, I got severe bloodlust right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sad to see. We'll return mm -hmm. the day after tomorrow for your decision. I hope for your sake it's the right one, Sevis. Oh, it'll be the right one. Going out for a bid? Yeah. Got any money? <laughs> you got any money? Ooh. I wish somebody would just throw money at me. Fuck. <laughs> Look at climb. Virgin, Damn. Looking for us? Virgin? You better not call me a virgin like as soon as I walk in. I guess it has been a while. Evil eye? Evil eye? You here to get lucky with me, Virgin? No, uh, nothing like that. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, you giving it up? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> she has to give you a message. We're going into action on the double. Be ready at a moment's notice. We are going to hit them where it hurts. Mm. Gazef came by earlier. He gave me a private lesson in swordsmanship. Crazy, huh? And I used the strike you <laughs> That sounds like something else. <laughs> yeah, it sure does. You're kidding. Liked it? That move could be countered pretty easily. It's mm -hmm. time you came up with a move you it looked could transition like it. into. Whoa. Didn't Gazef say the same thing? The same thing earlier. Yeah. Magic is beyond your reach. Damn. Stick to the sword. Those who chase after the unobtainable are certain to ruin themselves. Damn. Well aware. Hmm. Fine. Don't do anything to lose your humanity. Power oh, shit. Worth it. Many of the legendary 13 heroes were species other than human. Like Black Knight, the former owner of the cursed sword Kili Nairam, now wielded by... Damn. Him. He had demonic blood running through his veins. I overheard Lackey's talking to herself a few nights back. God's keeping it restrained takes all that I have. Damn. Then another time. Yeah, you just be talking to yourself out loud. What? <laughs> <laughs> Your power is at its strongest tonight, that's for sure. Hey, luck use. <laughs> hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> that's funny. I guess you were embarrassed being seen struggling with a cursed item. And it sounds like those pointless looking armor rings weren't just for fashion's sake. Mm. Is Renair in danger? Come on, let's head to the palace. Don't panic. I hear a third Edamantite class adventure team recently sprung up in the end. <coughs> Their leader is Momon, a warrior known as the Raven Black Hero, and known Ooh. as a powerful magic caster. Lastly, they subdued the wise king of the forest with their power and are keeping him as a pet. <laughs> keeping him as a pet. Oh, these two sound awesome. No, Miss Gagarin. There's no way these newbies could best you. <laughs> Thanks for the praise, kid. Let's get nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get nasty. Mm. Mm. Sebis. <gasps> oh! <laughs> what are you trying to pull, old timer? I'll say this once. Depart. Ooh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> he fell. Uh, hey, are you all right? That's it. Good job. Gonna be just fine, kiddo. That's so cool. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Excuse me. Is there something you uh. need, boy? If you wouldn't mind, sir, I'd like to. Can you train me? The move you yeah. There. And after seeing your outstanding technique, I knew that learning even a little of it would do just that. Now then, may I take a closer look at your weapon? Of course. Oh, don't cut him. This isn't your usual sword. How did you discern that? The number of blemishes in the blade. Sort. I do want to know why you're seeking greater power. I like Sebus. Damn, that shit just got super loud. 
Yeah, I turned mine down. <laughs> okay, it's not just me. <laughs> because I'm a man. Because oh, I'm a man. Because <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> Thank you, sir. We'll start your training immediately. What? You mean right here in the alley? Draw your weapon and stand ready, please. Right. <laughs> you wanted this? Let's go. Mm hmm. Don't die. <laughs> Damn, he's about to fucking dash punch him. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Oh! <laughs> Stand at the ready climb. Oh! <laughs> it took everything in him just to dodge. That was fire. Oh my god, Iran wants to land. <laughs> I felt that too. No. I'm a fighter. Name's Brain Unglau. <laughs> Brain. Again, Brain. How could you just stand there and face death without hesitation? Oh yeah, because he ran like a bitch. He's a pussy, yeah. <laughs> Tell me, that was far beyond what any normal man could withstand. It might be because I was thinking about my mistress the entire time. Mm-hmm. And I ain't a fucking bitch. I don't know how, but thinking about her made it bearable. I think it would be best if you and young Klein left here as quickly as possible. Oh! It appears I have some visitors. Who the fuck? Over there as well. I swore to protect the peace in this city. I refuse to go back on that oath. Well, this is cool. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect to see well. Sivis taking on Jason some people to train. Flanking us. I'm afraid I'll be your partner for this dance of death. Dance of death. Woo! What? I'd appreciate it if you'd focus your attention on me. Uh -huh. Oh my god. So that's what the story is. You're out of practice. Damn. Just snuffed. And this might be exactly what you needed. Woo! <laughs> Shooting pebbles at them. An important emotion for sure, but you can't let yourself be bound by it. Martial arts slash! <laughs> eight Fingers is a relatively large criminal society within the. All right, Eight Fingers. Mm -hmm. yep. is. Succulent's name has come up a few times. Succulent. These well. names, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he about to take down the whole fucking organization. Before they start a raging inferno. <laughs> I ran away because of danger. It would only prove that I am unfit to serve my mistress or country. Mm. This dude got more heart than anybody, yes. bro. <clears throat> Seb is the babysitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. uh, I think that's where the... What's her name? The girl was? Oh, done. yeah, 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 yeah. I like the direction they're going. It's interesting to see some development with Sebus and the quote unquote side characters like Climb and Brain. Mm -hmm. I didn't think we we're actually going to get uh, expansion on Brain, mm -hmm. uh, from, especially from what we'd seen of season one. He didn't seem like a very interesting or uh, fleshed out character. Yeah. Granted, we saw him at his lowest point, so it's going to be easy to build him up. Yeah. Uh, now, I do uh, like Climb, and everyone seems to have the opinion that he has some kind of potential, uh, but not in the sense of skill. I think it's more in mental fortitude and attitude, mm -hmm. because Gazif had uh, spoken on the matter, and then... Was it Evil Eye, the girl with the mask? Yeah. Uh, seemed to imply that he could improve. And now Sebus just looked at his sword in his hands. And I think because he saw that the sword was damaged, that he assumed Climb was training a lot and that it was a hard worker. And that's why he gave him a chance. Yeah. So uh, Climb definitely has something in terms of character. I don't think it's necessarily skill, but he has something. So we'll see. I do really like Klein. <clears throat> I think I think as a character, he's pretty dope, in my opinion. Um, like he, 
he's just he's down to uh like he's down for the cause you know not necessarily like oh i'm gonna i'm gonna lay down my life for a dumb cause but like he's just down you know what i mean um yeah and like <clears throat> like you said with um what you call it Bra- brain <laughs> with brain how he just it, it, it's the crazy thing is is how that moment that we laughed at him came full circle like mm. h- how did you how did you do this and, uh, i don't know how to you know what i'm saying like that it's yeah. funny how that came full circle um i'm never gonna let that down because it'd be different if like <laughs> if he if he just ran like oh shit this bitch is strong and he just got the fuck out of there then that's different he literally was like <laughs> like like sobbing as he was running but he was like oh i'm the strongest i'm the best like all this other shit. and i'm like what happened to that <laughs> like what happened to that but i mean it is what it is i st- i i don't really like brain i like climb a lot and it's only yeah. because he was like crying like a piece and he ran yeah <laughs> <laughs> but you know it is what it is but I like Sebus too. Sebus is uh as a character, I think he's super dope because like I and I still can't read him. Like I like it seems like he doesn't think humans are deplorable, but you know, he could feel a way. Like he could be like, nah, just fuck this. <laughs> These guys suck. Well, cause obviously he's still doing the uh, he's following the motto of his creator which was righteous is uh justice is the right thing to do yeah. in helping people mm-hmm. uh but that doesn't necessarily mean he has to like people yeah you know uh, yeah and so his actions don't necessarily mean that he likes climb or anything maybe he just has a sense of following uh, his creative will uh and i do like him a bit more now just because he's uh he seems a bit cut and dry Mm -hmm. he's he's not too interesting besides the fact that he's strong and he's one of Ainz's people yeah uh but with this whole uh showing people the right way to do things and training people uh he's he's getting a bit more interesting yeah yeah my thing is is like sure like you can help people but train people Right, like mm. he's he's like training him, like yeah, like I'll train you, and then he like saved him with the pebble, you know. Um, yeah. I don't know. I do like like I agree with you. I like Sebus a lot more now, um, but I'm curious to see like how this this situation ends. Like, are they just gonna run up in there and slaughter them? Are they gonna see what the real Sebus looks like? Like, is he gonna transform into like a beast and start fucking shit? And then they get scared. Mm. Like that would be that would be like a true test. Like for climb like oh shit the guy that's gonna train you turned into a monster started ripping heads off you still gonna stay with him you know what i'm saying type shit um but it is what it is we'll find out we will find out and we will find out shortly actually let us know what you guys thought in the comments and don't forget to like subscribe hit the hell's bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos check out our patreon and our social media we'll see you in the next one